Hey everyone, this is Tom Desmond of Apricot Law. I'm gonna shoot a quick video here for you just analyzing Philadelphia car accident lawyer. It is now June 9th um, in the morning on Friday. I'm having my coffee and I thought I'd shoot a quick video for you. I'm gonna to try to go fast. We're gonna look at the top sites that are ranked for this phrase. I'm gonna analyze each one. As you can see, I have some tools plugged in. Uh, and we'll use some other tools to analyze their traffic value. Maybe look at Majestic to, if we need to take a deeper look into one of the backlinks. And here are those sites that we're gonna look at. So um, quick, before we start that, uh, relevance is everything on your site. Your site has to be set up in a very specific way to show Google that you're relevant for this phrase. And then the other main component is authority. So there's relevance and, and authority. Authority is website strength that comes from backlinks. A backlink is when another, there's a link on another web page that's pointing to your website. And these tools analyze the strength of these websites. Like I said, strength come from, comes from backlinks. So list the number of backlinks, how relevant those backlinks are, how strong those backlinks are. And then here's the, like the nutritional readout of this ranking page. So I'm gonna to try to go through these as quickly as possible so you can see what it's gonna take for you and your firm to, to outrank these firms and get these cases. Now to show you that these, the rankings are actually really valuable, this tool, SEM Rush, determines what you would have to pay Google AdWords to get your current organic traffic. So this, this website, Rosenbaum Injury Firm, has a traffic value of $74,000 a month, which means that they are ranked organically for very expensive keywords because they're getting a lot of traffic that would, ha would cost them a lot of money if they were to pay for that traffic in Google AdWords. So you get a great return on your investment when you're ranked organically. Because of course you don't want to spend $75,000 a month on pay-per-click. All right, so here we go. Here are the ads. Don't even bother with those. This is uh, very important to be in maps. I, I could do another video on how to do this, but I'm not going to talk about it in this video. This is the fine law site. It, don't worry about them being in the top spot. They're not that hard to outrank. We beat them with relevance. Fine law is really just a page of headshots. If we can provide more relevant information on your website, we'll easily jump above fine law. I've seen it in many, many other markets. This is the top site uh, as far as law firm sites are concerned. And let's just look at these numbers. So also keep in mind, it's kind of a scale like this. So some websites that have really great on-page SEO don't need as many links to bump up high in the search. Uh, and then the other way around too, some web pages that you know, the, the on-page SEO is so-so, it's not perfect, but they have tremendous backlinks, they tend to climb up high too. So if you do a combination of both, that's how you climb up to the top and you stay up there. So this particular site, let's look at the, the nutritional value, meaning the power of those links coming in. The trust flow, the TF, see how big I can make this. Trust flow is exactly that. It's the trustworthiness of this page and that trustworthiness comes from the links that are coming into it, right? So this is just backlinks. Trust flow of 19 for the domain name, that's the home page, and a trust flow of 18 for the ranking page. Now this is out of 100, so one to 100, 100 is the highest. This is pretty low. So right away I know the on-page SEO has gotta be pretty clean because in other markets, I've, and you'll see even in this market, the trust flow is higher and it's a step below, right? So this website has something above the, the one below it, even though um, the one below it has stronger links, right? So trust flow of 18, not that hard to beat. I'd like to see in this market be up close to 40. The next number that's important is page authority. That's at 26, same thing, one to 100. 26 is not bad for an internal page to have an authority of 26. Um, if you, once you're up in the 30s, if you have your trust flow and your citation flow set up properly and your on page is good, a, a PA of 30 and you're, you're solid. You outrank anybody in your market. The next thing I wanna look at, there's a little plug in here that will draw um, the on page SEO into a tool and I'll show you what it does. So this is the H1 tag. Now that's a header tag. It's one of the top SEO components of a page and you're only supposed to have one. They have three, and the only one that's properly optimized is this one. So these are two duplicate H1 tags, which Google doesn't like, 
and th but they do have one properly optimized H1. So every time I spot something that is in that isn't perfect, there's an opportunity for another firm to jump up there and take that spot. Right? That's just the way the algorithms work. They choose the best site based on uh, a very large set of criteria. So when you meet the criteria, you jump up in the top spots. If a lot of people are coming close, then like in this market, then it's a matter of these little things like duplicate H1 tag could knock a strong site down, right? H2 tags, header two tags are very important. They have multiple purposes, but just for the sake of ranking, H2s need to have those buzzwords in them because uh, Google knows what people search when they've been in a car accident. So you have to get those H2, those words in the H2 tags because Google leans a little heavier on H2s than they do in uh, with the page content, right? So what I'm seeing here is they just put Philly Auto, Philly Car. There's accident a couple of times, Philly Car accident. So they're kind of repeating the, the main keyword. It's not advisable. Um, but it's working for them. The only reason it is working for them is because there isn't another website that has come up and provided the information that Google's actually looking for. So it's huge opportunity here. H3 is not as important as H2s. That makes sense. But th again, they have to be strong. They have to have some of those uh, important commonly searched keywords in there. All right. So let's close this out. The other thing important about this site is obviously in the in the page title, they, they, they have the keyword matched perfectly. Um, in the URL, it's a little under-optimized. They just put car accidents. It would be a little tighter if they put Philly, Philadelphia car accident lawyer, right? We just want to match that keyword. By the way, that is the most commonly searched phrase for that particular market. It's not auto accident attorney. It's Philadelphia car accident lawyer. Next, in the number three spot, we have this site. Now, this site has some interesting stuff to look at. Trust flow 46 for the homepage. There's a lot of links going to the homepage and they're trusted. This is also important, which I haven't mentioned yet, society and law. This is the topical trust flow. That means the topic of those websites that are linking to this website and, and the one above it too, are mostly law related. That's very important as opposed to having links coming from shopping or sports or recreation or entertainment, these are law related links, right? Very important. The page authorities is 17. That means the sheer power of the links coming into the site are actually not as strong as the sheer power coming into this page, right? This has nothing to do with uh, the topic. It could be from, you get a link from Forbes or from the Huffington Post or from some other authority site. There's literally millions of them. You, you increase your page authority, so that's important. Now let's look at their on-page SEO. The H1 tags, I don't see a properly optimized H1 tag anywhere on this page. They have uh, the H2 tags. Oh, I'm sorry, I hit the wrong button. It just says car accidents, so that's under-optimized. That's their, their main H1 tag. The header line of that page is just car accidents. It should be Philadelphia Car Accident Lawyer. The H2 tags, um, there are some buzzwords like settlements and verdicts is, is one. Um, they just put car accident, but cases is another one. We have lists of these and we test them all the time. So we know which ones help ranking, which ones help conversion, which ones keep people on the page longer. Um, motor vehicle accidents, they just try to get the synonyms in there, motor vehicle. Uh, and then crash, they put a, a synonym. So... No big deal. I don't. They didn't do such a great job in their H2s, so there's opportunity for you there. Next, number four. Again, you know, I'll mention that their their uh, their title, sorry, is optimized. The uh, domain. It's right. I didn't. I'm not on the page of the domain, so we'll skip that. Um, number four. Pennsylvania car accident lawyers. So this site is ranking, even though it didn't, they don't have Philadelphia in the title. It's interesting. They do have, uh, let's see, it's cached. We'll take a look at it in a second. So the ranking page is a trust flow of zero and they're in the number four spot and the page title isn't perfectly optimized. They do have a good uh, topical trust flow of 34 with society and law links. It's also not bad to have health 
uh, links in there because injury and health go together. Page authority, this is pretty strong. Uh, page authority 35, that means, like I said, the, the power of those links are good. It's pushing, there's a lot of power coming into this site. Uh, over 2,000 links coming into this page. They're putting money into ranking this page. Let's see how good their on page is. Pennsylvania. So their H1 does not say Philadelphia, it says Pennsylvania. Obviously, Google's smart enough to know that it's appropriate, but it's still not perfectly optimized. Their H2 tags, they put car accident victims, they put car accident lawyer, the, the key, main keyword in it again without putting Philly. They repeated it again, they repeated it again, and even twice in the same header. This is not, this is not good on-page SEO. This is not good content creating. Who would write an, an article of a newspaper or, or a magazine and put this kind of text in there? It just doesn't make any sense. And then the word claim. Okay, so let's leave this one. Number five. 11, uh, this is a strong site. I've analyzed it a bunch of times. The page authority of the home page is very strong. It's a 52, a lot of power, uh, almost 11,000 links coming into the home page. Uh, domain authority of 43, that's a strong site. So notice their home page is now ranking. They chose to put Philadelphia personal injury lawyer slash car accident attorney in their home page. It's not a bad uh, strategy for ranking because home pages are always the strongest page on the site. You get juice from all the pages on your site, and most people just naturally link to a home page. So that's going to be the strongest page. However, it's harder to to convert on the home page. People want to make a decision right away, and when you in under five seconds, if when they click on a link that doesn't say right away you're a car accident attorney and doesn't have a nice sidebar filled with car accident related content built on commonly searched car accident related phrases, they're gonna go somewhere else. They want information. So I'm gonna check this site right now for you. It doesn't say anything right away, car accidents. It says, all right, I know it's a law firm. I know it's these two guys. I have to scroll personal service awards. I see, okay, they're credible. They look good. It doesn't say car accidents. I've been in a car accident. I haven't seen it yet. Bye, right? That's the idea. Um, you wanna show that person right away that you're the authority. You have, you're providing the most information, the easiest to find information relevant in that sidebar, in the H tags, in the image. So they don't want to click around. They want, they, they've made their discovery. They found you. And the next thing you want to get them to do is hit that button to call you. So on your cell phone, now 60% of the people that are going to find your website are going to be on their phones. So having a responsive website is no longer that, that's old. It, your website has to look amazing on all devices and those buttons have to fit right on your thumb and it has to be very, very easy for that person to call you. This is what it needs to look like. Clear image, right? Of you looking confident, a very clear call to action that tells the person exactly what to do and the button has to be right on their thumb. And then you need to have uh, a nice blurb and, um, and credibility indicators. So you get some of your trust badges up there. So if they you know, don't feel like hitting that back button, they're lazy, they just wanna, they wanna call somebody, you have to give them that reason. You have to tell them that you're the best person to call by providing the best information, making it very easy for them to take that action. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Before I close it out, I hope you're still with me. I'll do two minutes on SEM Rush. I love this tool. Like I said, it gives us what you would have to spend in Google AdWords to get the current traffic um, that you're getting organically. So what we use this tool for is to reverse engineer top ranking sites. So here's a column for keywords. Here's the position they're in. The, for each of these keywords, this is how many times the keyword searched. This is how difficult, KD, how difficult it is to rank for that keyword. Uh, this is the cost per click. So Philadelphia slip and fall lawyer is $129 for one click. So if you're ranked number one, you're gonna get a ton of traffic and not be obviously paying $129 every time they click. Here's the key, here's the phrase, here's the page that's being pulled so we can take a deeper look. Click that page and it gives us a ton of information about this page and why it's ranked in the top spot. Besides looking at the page and analyzing the on-page SEO, it says well, there's only two backlinks going to that page 
they're getting 125 visitors a month. And some of the other top keywords, what those backlinks actually are, we can click those backlinks and see where they're getting the nutrition from. And then we can look at um, some of the competitors and what those competitors are doing and how close the competitors are to taking over this one website. So as you can see, there's a ton of interesting information with just one keyword. Here's the actual page that they're getting that link from and it looks like garbage. So right away I know it's not going to be hard to beat this website for that particular phrase. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. Uh, there is an offer. It's an offer for a free website audit video, which means I will go into your website just like this with a video and analyze the on-page SEO and I'll also use some other tools to analyze your backlinks and compare them to the top sites in your market. Take advantage, totally free. Uh, you can call me or you can go to the website, hit the red button, or maybe it's a green button, and, uh, and request it. Just send your name, email address, and website address, and I'll hit it right away, and you'll get that video in about 48 hours. All the best. Call me. I'm here. Let's play.